Hello everyone, the Colorado Rapids of tonight made the trip to PPL Park in Pennsylvania, the home of the Philadelphia Union, their first road trip since June the 7th. Without a win on the road though in three months for the Rapids, they tackle a team enjoying the slightly better times under interim head coach Jim Curtin. Arvell win coming in here uh, in the last minute, taking in for Piermeyer. Uh, it's going to be important for O'Neill and Moore in the middle to keep an eye on, on the big tank. And you're talking about Connor Casey. Yeah, with Connor up there. But I, I think you're looking at White. White's a kid who's just coming in, is getting his first start. And that's going to be important to see how quickly you can test him with Williams in the middle. So you're looking at just one guy. So, I mean, it's important for Colorado to stay healthy. It's important for them to, to keep players uh, with their fitness level at, at a pretty high level. And I think Jim Curtin's got a great chance. He's played in this league. He knows it. To Sean Brown throw on goal here. Didn't take the best of first touches. And they could have eventually cleared the danger. But that was a real chance there. Ball coming across his body. Good link-up play there by Dylan Powers on that occasion. We've seen Williams as a right back, not a center back. Moving the ball quickly. Gaddis. In low! And there's Casey! What he's done so often for the Rapids is against the Rapids. 16 minutes gone, Connor Casey with the goal. And the Union lead by one goal to nil. Well, and it's, and it's a build-up. You see, Connor Casey's the one that plays that ball wide, and he gets into the ball. Gaddis gets in here, and it's this ball. He plays it right behind the line. And he anticipates it. He beats Connor. He beats Shane O'Neill to the ball. Look at this. He cuts in front, holds him, beats him right to the ball. Still learning this position. It's something he's going to learn. If he opens up just a little bit more where he can see the ball and keep an eye on Connor, he can see Connor come in. Powers can strike them. We know that. This is Dylan Cerner who's going to have a go. And there is the response. The perfect response from the Rapids. Dylan Cerner from Dylan Powers. And it's all square at PPL Park. Try and catch your breath. Well, this is the way you respond. We talked about testing this back line. Great first touch, a little fake. Tucks it right into that corner. Playing down the right-hand side really fits him. Look at this, he can tuck it in, he can fake, he can set up. He's got an open lane and does a great job, but not trying to kill this ball. But look at this, driving it nice and low into that corner, tying the game up for Colorado. His second goal of the season, Dylan Cerner. And you can see clearly ever since that confidence has come back since the Montreal, the two goals in that game. And he's been a completely different player. Lots of space for Danny Cruz. And he's got some help with Fabinho down the left-hand side. Shane O'Neill doing what he can, and a great save. Clint Irwin. Despairing dive from the keeper. Otherwise, that was surely 2-1. Wow, well, first of all, great play. Fabinho comes in here, cuts his ball back, it just drops to Cruz, and Irwin does a great job. Stays up high, he stays strong, he stays balanced. Look at this, he sees it, boom, quickly pushes it to the side, great save. More work, not that time. A bullet header of Philadelphia Union have regained the lead. 31 minutes gone. And it's Williams with his second goal of the season, and the Union's second of the night. Now, let's take a look at this. He's, balls come in there. Looks like it's, yeah, it's Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill, watch right here. Shane O'Neill, William gets in front, positioning again, and then Marville Wynn attacks the ball, but Shane O'Neill lets him get inside. Look at this, you can't let him get inside. He's got better positioning. Once he's in there, you're done. You're absolutely done. You can see the way Shane O'Neill was behind him. Unable to clear the lines at the moment, the Rapids. There could be danger here. Irwin's going to have to be careful, and there is the third. And it's offside, and it will not count. It was a real scrappy defending from the Rapids. They were almost, almost punished. Let's take a look. Shots taken. Yep. Not by much, but he was in an offside position. Hurrying on to that, but he just turns right into trouble. He's going to have to be careful he doesn't give away a penalty here. He's got his arms all over and he's trickling over the line. And that was sloppy. 
That was very sloppy. And on this occasion, the Rapids are punished. Watts turning into trouble in the final third. And Philadelphia Union are 3-1 up. And they're heading for what would only be their second home win of the season. Substitute Wenger with his second goal of the campaign. Well, a mistake right here from Watts. You can see the referee does a nice job. He lets it go. Ball's coming in here. He cuts the ball back. He touches it. And Wanger's by himself. He anticipates. He gets it. The mistake was Watts. Look where Watts loses the ball. And then with the fortunate bounce, it drops right there. Irwin's trying to come out and get that. Towards that near post. Watts at the far post. A high boot and a penalty kick. A penalty kick. The high boot into the face of Jared Watts and the referee. No hesitation. Red card. And a red card has been brought out. And that's Lahoud, who's going to be walking the walk. Ball gets in, Lahoud tries to kick the ball. Watts does a nice job, he gets in front, he gets kicked. I did... But then Lahoud would know, he, he can feel Watts. Yeah, he can feel him and he sees it, yeah. He's still, I mean, he's going for the ball. So, the referee's right there, gives the penalty kick and... And a red card as And well. a red card. Uh, maybe one, but not the other. Now he went high the last time, Dylan Powers. For his fourth of the season, to make it 3-2, and he does comfortably. Three goals to two, reducing the arrears. McMath suggesting that the uh, shuffle by Dylan Powers was uh, not what he wanted. A little bit of afters. But Dylan Powers with the penalty. It's 3-2, his fourth of the season. What he's complaining about, he thinks he stops momentum going forward. He never does. He never does. You can see him creeping up to the ball. Great job. He fools him going to the right-hand side, putting it right back in there at 3-2. To the last five minutes, we will have stoppage time. Torres, looking for Brown, turns his man, on goal, and there it is! There is the equaliser, and Dylan Powers wants the winner. A sixth goal of the season for the Sean Brown, and in the latter stages of this contest, it's all square. Well, you got to go, good ball movement and a turn. Absolutely fantastic turn by the short round ball in. Look at this. Shields him off, puts it to his left foot. This time just buries it into the corner for a sixth goal. Torres with a great ball, but right there. Great job by Brown. He just fought him off. Fought off Williams. Look at that. Fought him off. Ball bounces right there. Sets it up. Left foot tucks it in. Ties the game up. It's uh, the last chance for Philadelphia Union. The last 10 seconds. The referee's checked his watch. And there is the full-time whistle from PPL Park. The Rapids trail 2-1 at the break. They trail 3-1.